Hello. I see you're a friend of the family. So am I. Do you think we might find a moment to speak? About? A very serious matter. Please, can we find some place away from the others? I couldn't help overhearing your conversation. You think the son is still alive? Who are you? I'm a member of a kind of consortium. We represent certain global interests. What kind of interests? Interests that would be extremely threatened by the digital tape that you are no longer in possession of. Threatened enough to murder? Oh, my, yes. What do you know about Mulder? That he is dead. Qui bono. You're lying. I'm not here to tell you lies. What are you here for? To tell you your life is in danger, too. Leave me alone. They'll kill you one of two ways. They'll send someone, possibly two men, kill you in your home or in the garage with an unregistered weapon which will be left at the scene. Using false documents supplied by associates of mine, they'll be out of the country in less than two hours. You said there were two ways. Yes. He or she will be someone close to you, someone you trust. They'll arrange a meeting or come to your house unexpectedly. You have some place else you might stay. Why? Why kill me? You want something they don't. Justice. And because they are now quite certain you don't have the computer copy of the files they're looking for. Why are you protecting me? I feel my colleagues are acting impulsively. And your death will draw unnecessary attention to our group. You're not protecting me. You're protecting yourself. Why should that surprise you? Motives are rarely unselfish. What kind of business are you in? We predict the future. The best way to predict the future is to invent it. Good day, young lady.